And we'll start with the Google. So, and it's interesting that in Google, there is just also just the, just the very fact and very symbolic subsea cable steam. And from this team, um, Sylvie Le Perrier from this team will present us Google's already general um, plans for submarine cables, but also like very specifically about the new Aquano subsea cable and what, what it will bring to Europe and uh, Portugal. So please, uh, Sylvie, uh, you know, let's continue with you, please. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Pretty well. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you today, and I have the honor to present you the Equiano Cable and its expected economic impact on Portugal, precisely. So I will now present my screen. All right, so uh, what I will go through today is an overview of Google's uh, global network infrastructure and uh, then move into Equiano, our investment and the innovation supporting it. Uh, then after that, we'll go into a forecast. We uh, had some uh, economists studying the economic impact of new subsidy cables on Portugal. And then if we do have time, we'll go into Q&A or perhaps at the end of this session. Google has a um, global network spanning 22 regions. Um, we have a cloud, uh, a cloud that is uh, separated into 67 zones. And we do have 140 points of presence around the world. So the, that whole network is comprised of subsea uh, cable systems, terrestrial fiber systems, and points of presence at the edge to facilitate interconnections with businesses and consumers. The purpose of this talk is to present to you now our latest build, the Equiano Cable System, which links Europe from Portugal to Africa. And the landing is the Zimbra. One second, thank you. Equiano will provide 150 terabits of additional capacity between Europe and Africa. It's a, why are we building this? Uh, there's a steady increase in internet traffic, as uh, Philip just mentioned, um, between Europe and Africa. So additional routes uh, and additional capacity are required between the two continents to support this growth in traffic. Equiano will provide resiliency um, in delivering the Google content and services between Europe and Africa. And we have a plan for ready service date in the second half of 2022. So in 12 months or so, we will be live. That's quite exciting. And we will have additional branches that will be constructed in future phases of the project. The Equiano cable is a state-of-the-art infrastructure based on space division multiplexing or SDM technology, which allows us to squeeze more fiber pair into the same cable. And uh, we, will, uh, we incorporate optical switching at the fiber pair level rather than a traditional approach of wavelength level switching. So that's for the innovative part of the cable. Now I would like to introduce um, a report we have commissioned Copenhagen Economics to quantify the economic impact of the forthcoming Equiano subsea cable in Portugal. And I will uh, present to you the key takeaways. The full report will be available online, I believe today or tomorrow, so you will be able to dive into a very substantive report.
So the first thing I want to call out is that the new cable landings in Portugal in the year 2021 and 2022 will result in a large surge of subsea internet capacity. Like we're looking at multiple step functions. If you uh, look at the graph, you see that up until now, there is roughly is a little less six, 60 terabits of capacity. And with the addition of Ellalink and the addition of Equiano, we're looking at a more than five times growth in uh, capacity uh, originating from Portugal. Now, um, Equiano and Ellalink, uh, the two cables together, it's very hard to distinguish the impact of each one, but let's consider them together. The cables will, um, will bring new trade and new growth opportunities for Portugal in a global context of economic recovery. As you can see here, I think I went too far, one second. Yes, pardon me. The forthcoming subsea cables will increase the Portugal, the Portugal uh, GDP by up to 500 million euros per year. This is very significant. And this is calculated uh, with uh, economic impact pathways. So if you look at this graph here, you see that the first pathway is the top one. With the increased subsea cable capacity, the latency will decrease and the internet data use will increase for broadband and also mobility. Then the second pathway is the one depicted at the bottom with increased subsea cable capacity internet bandwidth increases throughout for businesses, for consumers, and the internet mobile uh, data use will also increase. So the 500 million GDP increase for Portugal is the po potential impact associated with improved digital infrastructure from these forthcoming subsea cables that will land in Portugal, namely Ellalink and Equiano. The long-term and recurrent annual impact is sustained as long as the infrastructure is in use. So this infrastructure is amazing. It has to be used to generate the economic impact. And an enabler for economic actors to reap the benefits um, will be more efficient connectivity. So this is quite a significant impact. And the full details can be found in the Copenhagen Economics um, website. And now back to the slide that I went too fast on. Um, Equiano will bring new trade and growth opportunity for Portugal in a global context of economic recovery. We are looking at um, Portuguese import exports to African countries over the years and uh, African countries um, uh, FDI positions. So we, we think that with the impact of the two cables, we will, we will stimulate trade and uh, data flows between all these economies between the two continents. Now, the benefits can only um, be achieved uh, with the right framework and the right framework conditions. Subsea cables will deliver their fullest economic impact um, when the conditions are conducive to trade and conducive to international value chains uh, in the industries supporting the digital transformation. Another key factor is to enable the efficient growth in digital trade as the economy is transforming and is supporting the exchange and the free flow of data that are required to underpin um, different 
companies' choices on how to organize and develop and provision their production chain and the production of their services. Uh, lastly, efficient free flow of data will be a key underpinning of the enhancements of digital trade between nations. Connectivity infrastructures such as subsea cable can only del deliver their fullest potential when the framework conditions are conducive to trade across the digital economy. And lastly, I would like to leave you with um, a message. We do believe that the full potential of connectivity will be achieved if cross-border data flows are facilitated. Connectivity infrastructures such as subsea cables will deliver their fullest benefits to the companies when they lead to trade across digital and international value chains. There's no point in enhancing connectivity infrastructures, including subsea cables, if businesses do not have an appropriate data flow framework that enables them to exchange inputs, products, and services efficiently between each other and foster all the opportunities from digital trade. So on behalf of all my colleagues at Google, I thank you for the opportunity to present to you the Equiano cable and a, a short preview into the expected economic impact of submarine cables, which will provide Portugal with stronger trade, investment, productivity, and consumer, consumer welfare for the years to come. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very, very much, Sylvie. And just if, if I can, one follow-up question, because looking at the big boost that both Equiano Cable and the Ellerlink will bring uh, to international submarine connectivity. Do you think there is a space for new cables or is this just a beginning, you know, because is this now we, we saturating it or are we just opening up for the further growth? What, what do you think? Thank you, Thomas, for the question. I do think uh, that this is only the beginning. There is pent up demand between the two continents, between Europe and Africa. I do believe that the two cables will be fully used and in a very short time frame, we'll need to start planning more. Okay, thank you very, very much. So the, the market will still be, keep growing and I think will be space for everyone here. Thanks very much again, Sylvie.